Hi, good afternoon, and welcome to another installment of the Uplift at Vision. I'm Reverend Patty Paris, the senior minister here at Vision. I welcome you in this afternoon. Thanks for joining me on this uplifting 15, 20 minutes that we get to spend together today. So before we do anything else, let's pray in. I know that there is one God, there is one source, there is one energy. We call it spirit or higher power or first cause or universal intelligence, whatever we like to call it, we know that there is this divine mind that has sought to incarnate itself as everything, as all physical things in the universe, from atoms to planets and galaxies and solar systems. We know it is just the one. It is the one forming the many. It is the one changeless behind all change. And so I give great thanks. I know this is truth. I know this is spirit just absolutely having its way with us knowing itself in form as us. And so we, we just give great thanks for this, for the way it is, for spirit leading the way through this conversation, knowing it is wild and free through this time together. And so it is, amen. So good afternoon, how's everybody today? Ah, another day, right? Another day in this, in this um, universal experience that we're having called Worldwide Pandemic. You know, I've got my notes, I'm all ready. I want to talk to you about change today because, you know, things are changing. I've been thinking a lot about changing lately. You know, um, well, our, our very spiritual philosophy is change your thinking, change your life, right? Change your thinking, change your life. It is the tagline for the science of mind and spirit. And Ernest Holmes, in How to Use the Science of Mind, said this. He said, behold, I make all things new. He didn't say that. He was quoting from the Bible, of course. But behold, I make all things new. There is nothing permanent but change. And the infinite intelligence can never be caught in anything that it does. What it does expresses its being at a particular time. Tomorrow it may do this in an entirely different way, but always in accord with its fundamental harmony. There is love and there is law, and it will not violate its own principle. Principle cannot violate its own principle, right? So it always changes, but it changes in harmony with its own law. So change your thinking, change your life, you know? And it's great, it's great that we do desire change, right? When we want change. When we want change for ourselves, and then it's great that we desire change. When we want to change our careers, or change our homes, or change our mates, or change our location, or you know, change what we believed about something. It's, it's all okay, really, when, when we want to do it. But what about the change that comes upon us? What about the change, really, that blindsides us? What about the ones that happen, the changes that happen to us that we don't even see coming? How do we feel about those changes? We know philosophically these things pass, right? We know, we know from a, a purely philosophical standpoint, this too shall pass. Everything comes and goes. Everything in the physical universe occurs according to divine law. Creation and destruction are just two aspects of the law working itself out in the physical world. Things fall away, so other things can take their place, right? We see this all the time. We see it on the universal level, don't we? That uh, galaxies collide and, and just, you know, crash themselves out of existence. We understand that stars can go supernova, supernova, and, um, and, and explode, and they don't exist anymore. We know this on a planetary level, right? That, Empires of the past have come and gone. We know that rivers change their courses and cut into the earth and, and volcano eruptions happen and create islands where none have been before. We know trees that, that are birthed from the earth and then live hundreds and hundreds of years. 
but then they do die, right? We know seasons come and seasons go and then seasons come back again. We know from the physical world, all the evidence around us, that change happens. The phases of the moon, the planting, the growing, and the harvesting of crops, all things at the physical level, right, change. They teach us that change is inevitable. Change is inevitable. But what we understand is that behind all the change is the changeless. Behind that, uh, those forms that animate, those forms that grow and then age and then die, all of those forms behind all of that change is the changeless, the energy. And Ernest Holmes said this, let me read this to you. He said, energy is eternal. The stuff out of which all forms are made is indestructible. In this vast change we live in, the flux and flow and ebb and tide of evolution, there is a consistency, a consistence. There is in the midst of all movement something which does not move and yet moves all things. Change happens. Change happens. And we can use the experience of change in our own lives to grow us or shrink us, right? And what I mean by that, I guess, is, is we can become bitter when change is forced upon us, when change comes from the outside that we don't expect, that we don't want, that we weren't even calling for, that change happens. And it can make us bitter. Change that comes as a byproduct of somebody else's choice, someone in our lives maybe that chooses to leave, a job that, that our boss decides uh, we're no longer suited for, you know, or uh, an inability to pay the mortgage and, go and have a house go into foreclosure, whatever. Changes that are forced upon us that are not our idea. I don't want this, or this should not be happening, right? This should not be happening to me. All of those feelings as a result of change coming upon us, not from our own idea, not my idea. Yet spirit insists on change. Spirit insists on change, growth is optional. And that's the part that we can control. That is the part we do have a say in, is the growth part of the experience. Something may have happened to us that we had no control over. For example, this worldwide pandemic. I know it wasn't one of you out there in, in Visions community. <laughs> That, that, you know, created this, this intention that set out to create this thing. I know it wasn't us. It happened. It was a worldwide phenomenon. It's, a, it's uh, the outpicturing of the physical laws of the planet, just like the wind blows from west to east across the planet because of the rotation of the earth. These were physical laws that were put into place when the physical universe was birthed. So, so bacteria, viruses, things like that happen because they are a part of the physical expression of the universe. But then what do we do about it? What we do about it, that is our choice. Spirit is forever changing, is forever outpicturing change, but growth is our choice. We get to embrace change, even changes we don't want or didn't expect or not particularly enjoying. We get to embrace those as well. We get to embrace the things that were even unexpected, even if we're not happy about them, right? Even if we're mad about it, even if we resent it, we can still embrace it and not become bitter and small and shrink in, in the presence of the change we hadn't expected. We can just look upon it like, wow, I wouldn't have written this into my life story. This is not where I thought my life was going, but here it is. 
I did not expect sheltering in place. I didn't expect having to wear a mask everywhere I went. But here we are. So let's walk through it and see how we can grow. Ah, uh, how we can grow as a byproduct of it, right? Of having the experience. To be able to walk through the unexpected stuff and still keep our minds positive and to still expect the best outcome right smack in the middle of an unexpected event. That's practicing the principles. Ernest Holmes said this in The Science of Mind. He said, nature will not let us stay in one place too long. She will let us stay just long enough to gather the experience necessary to the unfolding advancement of our soul. This is a very wise provision. For should we stay here too long, we would become too set, too rigid, too inflexible. Nature demands change in order that we may advance. And when change comes, we should welcome it with a smile on our lips and a song in our heart. Perfect advice on how to move through change. With a smile on our lips and a song in our heart. For if we have faith, if we trust spirit, if we know change is always for the highest and best good, and even if we don't know it, we trust that. We trust that. That good comes out of all change. That spirit is in charge and all is well that we can lean into whatever is happening in the world around us and believe that we evolve through it, that we grow through it, that we come out the other side knowing something greater about ourselves, about the world around us, and about each other by going through this together. And I think that's important to keep in mind you know, the idea that God is in charge and all is well. And we don't have to know, and we don't have to worry, right? What do they say about worry? Worry worry doesn't empty today of its troubles. It just drains tomorrow of its power or something like that. No, I have that backwards. <laughs> worry doesn't drain tomorrow of its trouble, but it drains today of its power. Then it's true, because when we are in worry, we're in the future. When we are in regret, we're in the past. When we are fully present right here, right now, in this present moment, we know God is in charge in all as well. I may not know how this is coming out, but I know it's coming out well. I know God is in charge and all is well. And we find the good in any situation in which we find ourselves. When we know that spirit is all there is to life, when spirit is all there is to us, when spirit is all there is to everything in the manifest universe, we have to know that it's all good because it's all God. It is all good because it is all God. And even if we don't know what's happening or we don't know how long it's going on or how long it's going to last, even if we don't know any of those answers, we know God is in charge and all is well. Let's pray out. I give this time over to spirit. I know and accept that God is in charge, that there is this one life, it is God. It is whole, perfect, and complete. It is my life now, and it is the life of everyone and everything in the manifest universe. Energy is the nature of everything, and we know of that energy is God. It is spirit, having an adventure, having an experience as us. We know that God is inhabiting these bodies, absolutely in charge. Of, of our cells, of our organs, of our breath, of our digestion. We know that God is living this, its life through us and as us in the world. And so I know that it is all God. It is all good. And so it is. It was wonderful spending this time with you today, and I look forward to tomorrow. Remember, vision community, from my heart to yours, we are one. There is no separation. It's all God, all the time. 
Have fun today. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I will see you next time on The Uplift. Bye-bye.